It's time for a backyard game, DIY Ring Toss. So we need two pieces of 2x4, 12 inches long. We'll measure, mark, and cut those. And then we need two pieces of 2x4s, only 9 inches long. And we'll mark, cut those too. And we'll sand all those pieces so we don't get a splinter. I've got eight deck screws that I'm going to use to fasten this box together. I'll drill pilot holes, then run those deck screws down nice and tight. Now our frame is built and it's onto our three quarter inch plywood where I'm going to cut out a 12 inch square piece. That'll be the cover for our base. Be sure to sand everything good and check for fit. Yep. Now it's back to the three quarter inch plywood where we'll need a nine inch square piece of plywood. This will be our center support piece. Our game posts are made out of two inch square lumber. So I'll set a piece down centered on our top and mark it out. Drill four holes and using my jigsaw, cut that square out. Now so that they match up, the center support piece goes in place, the top over that, and then we'll mark out the square on the center support piece and repeat the process with the drill holes and the jigsaw to cut out our second square. After test fitting these two holes with our two by two square piece of lumber, it's time to make sure they match up and then tap in the center support piece and make it level. Pound eight two inch nails into it to hold it in place. Then take the cover with the two by two piece in it and make sure the piece goes all the way through the support piece and to the bottom and when that's lined up, it's time to nail the cover in place. Now it's time to cut our main 2x2 two two support piece to the proper height, which is around 6 foot 6 inches. Give it a little sand and then it's time to cut the other 2x2 two two piece. And that one's going to be right at 5 feet. Now cut it out and sand it out. The main pole and the extension are going to be joined together with a galvanized tie bracket for 2x2 two two lumber. I'll drill some pilot holes in the wood and then screw in four stainless steel screws. Now lay your extension piece in place and I let mine hang over just a little bit. Then we'll drill two matching holes right through that tie bracket and right through our 2x2 two two piece. I'll be using some long screws and lock nuts, so I'll run those through and put the lock nuts on. And there's no need to tighten anything down just yet. The backboard for our ring toss game can be made out of anything you want, preferably wood. So I found this kapow clip art and I cut it out. Then I laid it on a piece of eighth inch plywood taped it down, marked it out, and then cut it out with my jigsaw. Cut it out! And of course, gave it a good sanding. Now it's time to paint. And you're gonna wanna paint that base, give it a couple of good coats, and then the backboard, which I'm gonna paint yellow. Now it's time for your basic number 10 screw eye in stainless steel. That'll get screwed into the end of our extension post. Now just a few inches from the end is fine. Now on the longer piece, we're going to measure out to 54 inches, and that's right where our backboard is going to go. I'll drill a couple of pilot holes and then use two stainless steel wood screws to hold our backboard in place. Then centered on the backboard, we're going to drill a little bit larger pilot hole for our two inch stainless steel hook. Apply medium pressure to this and try to be as straight as you possibly can and work that hook all the way down so you can't see any more threads. Okay, it's time to put this thing together. So we need to attach our main pole to our extension piece. And we'll do that using our bracket and two screws and two nuts. And let's take our post and put it into the base. Now our final pieces are a two inch stainless steel ring and some fishing line. Tie a nice knot on that string, then hang the ring on the hook, and then you're gonna pull your fishing line up to the screw eye with just a very little bit of slack, and then tie a knot. Our DIY ring toss is done. Now it's time to give it a try. You've probably played this game before, so you know it's not as easy as it looks. Yeah, for every ringer you get, you're gonna bounce it off a bunch of times. Not only can you take my DIY ring toss game out of the base and put it in the ground if you want, but it comes apart in three pieces, makes it for easy storage to bring to your next party. There's your backyard game, DIY Ring Toss.